Hello everybody, welcome back to Garden Obsessed. Today I'm going to get some more um, garlic into the ground. I planted probably two thirds of what I'm going to be planting on October 15th. I kind of shared what I had planted in the video I did how I'm planning my 2023 garden. Um, today I'm planting some German white garlic. It's a porcelain type similar to the music garlic that I've already planted, but I found it has a little bit larger um, bulbs than the music. This entire bed will be planted eventually. I'm just gonna do half of it today. I'm just showing you what I'm using for fertilizer. It's an organic um, all-purpose 444 fertilizer. But I can't get the other half planted until I harvest. There's some bok choy still growing. The green is starting to bolt. The red's still doing good. Um, so in the next week or so, I'll get all that harvested and get the rest of this garlic in. Um, today is actually Halloween. It's October 31st. And <clears throat> this is maybe a little later than I like to plant my garlic. I have planted garlic all the way from the third or fourth week of September right through to the first week of December in the past. And I kind of like that mid-October window best. Generally, that's the best time of year for me where I am to plant garlic. You want to figure that out for yourself. Um, it's usually around when you first start having, you know, some regular light frosts. Um, we, we've had kind of a warm fall, so this is by no means too late. And like I said, I could go right into December if I had to. It would cost me some bulb size in the spring though, but you know, some garlic is better than no garlic, right? So I added some of that all purpose fertilizer and scratched it into the top inch or two of the soil. And now I am just kind of pre poking my holes and I do this. I'll push the garlic bulb down a little bit farther, but I like to do this just so I, you know, have my spacing right. Um, I'm putting these holes, this is a four by four bed and I've got eight holes along the length of it. So that gives me about five or six inch spacing. I found that's a good spacing for me. So I've got four rows here to do today. I'll squeeze in another four rows as soon as I get that bok choy um, harvested. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I think I had 80 some uh, cloves in this bag. So I'm gonna start just picking out some of the larger ones. If you start with a larger clove, you will get a larger bulb. So I wanna make sure I get the largest ones planted first. If anything comes up and I don't get the rest of the garden planted, I know that you know I'm gonna have my largest cloves planted. I'm just giving you a little look-see here. I'm actually cutting back on the number of um, garlic cloves that we plant this year. Um, I think, you know, 100 is far too few and we had over 200 this year and that is way too many. So I have about 100 of the music garlic planted. I'm planting 32 um, of the German white here today and we'll plan to plant another 32 and that will probably be it. So it'll give me, in total, I'll have a between 160 and 175 um, bulbs come next year and I think that will serve our garlic needs. That will also allow me to have a few extras to share with family and friends and maybe do a few fun garlic projects that you know use a lot of garlic so i think that will work out well garlic really is one of my absolutely favorite things to grow it is one of the easiest things it has almost no pest pressure at least where i am in the world and i find it very low maintenance um you know i'm putting this in the ground which you know, the fall is also a great time to plant a crop like this because it's not, you know, in the spring, you're trying to get everything in all at once. And this is a nice, easy time of year to tackle a project and, you know, just have a nice relaxing afternoon planting garlic. Other than this initial 
fertilization, I will probably hit it with, you know, a higher nitrogen fertilizer in the spring and keep it watered. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's, it's one of the most maintenance free crops that I grow. It's also extremely easy to propagate your own seed from year to year. I think five or six years ago, I bought, you know, one pound of music garlic from Vessies and I've saved my own seed every year ever since. And the bulbs have only gotten better year to year as they've kind of acclimated to my garden and my conditions. Um, a couple years ago, I added a little bit of this German garlic. I had like one bulb. So this year, I think I planted, well, this past season, I think I harvested 60 or 70 bulbs of that German white garlic. So it reproduces quickly for you from year to year. And if you're willing to go like, you know, the bulbul route, which I made a video last year all about that, it can actually multiply um, significantly quicker for you over the stretch of a few years. So it's low stress, um, low maintenance, and a very economical crop to grow. It's also extremely cold tolerant, so pretty much anywhere in the world can grow garlic. Um, there are a couple different types here. In a more northern garden, we stick to, generally people stick to hard neck garlics, not that you can't grow soft neck, but hard neck is kind of the go-to, and if you're in a more southern garden, soft neck is gonna be the direction you will like to take. We're going to get into something else pretty exciting now. Um, I ended up purchasing some saffron crocus bulbs um, and we're gonna get those planted. I've never grown them and a local nursery was selling them. So this is what I bought. I bought two packs of five and I couldn't be more ecstatic to grow these. When you get your bulbs, you wanna get them planted right away. You can see that mine are starting to sprout. They are actually a fall flowering crocus. So I think I might be a little too late. If I had gotten them a few weeks ago, there is a chance that they may have actually bloomed this fall, but I, I think I'll probably have to wait till next fall. So um, I'm planting them. I'm just kind of brushing some leaves away to show you that there's a plant already here. It's just an ornamental allium, but Beside it, in this bed, I'm going to plant two rows of five, so I will have 10 crocuses total. Each flower will produce three stigmas, which are the female part of the flower, and that is what actually the saffron spice is. So I will have, hopefully next fall, 30, um, 30, fibers of saffron. So for some perspective, a typical dish uses between 10 and 20 fibers. So we'll be able to make, you know, one or two meals with that. But it takes about 150 flowers in order to produce one gram of saffron. That is the reason it is one of the most expensive spices in the world. So I'm doing the same thing I did for the garlic. I'm just kind of pre-making some holes. These can go a little closer. You want them about four inches deep and about four inches apart from one another. And these are actually going to produce fairly quickly. Every, every three to five years, you can divide them and every year they should produce more and more flowers. So like I said before, I am in a Canadian zone 5B-ish um, growing zone, which is similar to um, a USDA zone 4B, and I'm kind of pushing the limits for um, overwintering these crocuses. I'm going to mulch them very well with some leaves and I think they will be fine, but they are generally, you know, if you're in a zone six or warmer, you're going to be fine. And if you're in a zone four or five, you're going to have to make sure that you mulch in order to overwinter. So um, next fall, I'll be sure to share how successful I was. 
these are going to pretty much go dormant until um, maybe August of next year. Uh, and I will make a note and make sure I mark them so that I don't forget I have them planted here. I'm pretty excited and was pretty excited to learn that growing these crocuses was possible here. Um, you know, when I think of saffron, I always think of Mediterranean or Indian dishes, and I honestly thought they were, you know, I don't even think I was sure that they were from a crocus, honestly, but I thought they were a more warmer climate plant, and it's amazing what you can grow um, when you start investigating how things are produced. And I am, this is one of the things I'm the most excited about for next year is these saffron crocuses. So I'm just getting the last few planted here and I'm pushing them in a little further. Like I said, they need to be a little deeper, four inches. I don't go down quite that deep with garlic and then I'm getting them all covered up and patting the soil down and hopefully they will be nice and cozy here for the winter. If you have experience growing um, the saffron crocus, I would love to hear about it. Like I said, I have no experience doing it. This is my very first time, but I'm very excited. And if you have any tips, I'm sure others would be just as interested to hear as I am. So thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.